everybody and welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi i'm brooke and this is a half term weekly vlog that i will be doing and um, it's finally half term don't know what that was yes yeah, so it's finally half term and this half term is relaxation going out and doing things with my friends but importantly having a balance between studying and revising i have got my mocks when i go back next november they start on the 19th to the 28th so being prepared for them i don't want to come up in the night and be like oh, i haven't done any revision i've already started revising a lot of things but i'm going to really crack down on things now when i'm not doing things obviously i'm going to go it do it around my schedule but that's what it's kind of going to be about so i have made my revision timetable here and i'm going to go through a little run through with it now because i find these really really helpful so for today it's saturday so i'm going to try and do most of my homework today so i, I get that over and done with so then revision is easy and i choose when i want to do it so i'm going to do my homework so as you can see i've got quite i've only got a, bit, a little bit but it's mainly revision Tomorrow I've got maths, drama um, and RE. For this, for instance, I'm going to do revision and then I'm going to do a past paper. And then history, I'm going to do some revision. Monday's kind of an easier day. and um, These will probably block out and then you can see I've got a lot. This is kind of an English drama and RE day. So if I don't... I need to get rid of these ones because these ones don't stick. However, if, for instance, I don't do it at this time, I can pick it up and move it so that means i'm not ever escaping the way to do revision from the moment we held on two things we cannot see i would cross the sky forever it's only just begun So it's currently 11.24 and I've just got out all of my cutting situation bits and bobs and I've got all out of my books and things so I'm going to go through that. I keep all my folders in this big wardrobe um, so then I'm going to go through them and make sure they're all perfect. I've also got these new pens and um, I ordered them online. I swear, where are they from? I can't remember exactly where they're from but I will link them down below if you're interested in them. They're kind of like calligraphy like felt tip pens which I'm so excited to use because they're so cool. Um, I'm doing my English essay which is to compare how parenting is in this poem to how it is in Blood Brothers. So I've come downstairs on the table, the messy table, um, to do this so I've got more space. So I'm going to plan this. So I've just done my PE exam question it's a six marker and i'm hopefully this is enough um i've spoken about um selective attention positive thinking imagery and mental preparation as me and mum have come to windsor oh, it's really cold are you enjoying date night Sorry. Yes, 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 yes. Good morning, everybody. So, um, it is Sunday, and um, I've just obviously washed my hair, um, and I've had a shower. It's quite late. It's almost twelve, and I've just been chilling in bed because, like, I haven't chilled in bed for so long, and it felt so nice. I've like properly exfoliated my skin. I feel really nice. Um, I'm planning on meeting Becca today. Planning on meeting her. I'm gonna get ready. Don't know what we're doing just yet. Um, there's like two options. But yes, I'm just going to dry my hair, put some makeup on, and then um, I'm, if I have time, I'm going to do a bit of studying. So I have got all my makeup ready. I am loving it. I have got a t-shirt on, by the way. It's got a boob tube on. Oh, so now I'm going to get ready. So this is my outfit. I'm just wearing these jeans from Topshop that um, actually fit me on like every single other pair of jeans in this world. And I'm wearing this red top, which actually isn't my mine. It's actually my mum's, but I'm literally, oh, that's awkward. Literally in love with it. It is from In The Style. And I'm just going to take my camera out like this with no tripod because then it's more heavy. My mum actually told me not to take out my camera, but do you see me looking like I'm going to do that? We're walking to, I think we're going to go to 
Oxford Street, and then the Carnaby, and all sorts of take the car and a little day. That's all she cares about. In a room lit by the TV light, all I want is to get some shine. But my thoughts are keeping me away. I don't know what it is, but it's been like this ever since we kissed. I don't know what to do. Day out with Becca, uh, her number one. Place to go is Primarni. I love watching people shop at Primark. <laughs> Come on, are you enjoying your day so far, Becca? Yeah, it's been lovely. So far, we're in. We're, we're in. A lot of picture taking. Lot of I'm being confused, that's how always. Um, we are now heading down to... We're now going to get food. We're gonna, I'm going to take her to Shake Shack and then... Um, have you been to Shake Shack before? Have you been to Shake Shack before? No. You take to Shake Shack. I only go to McDonald's. It's all I can afford. It's a better place, Shake Shack. Um, so we're going to go to head over to Covent Garden because we're going to go see that. I really like Covent Garden. I have been there for ages. So we're now heading down to the Northern Line. Um, and we're going to jump on the train, go to Leicester Square and walk to Covent Garden. And yeah, she's enjoying the day. We just got out of Primark and she got a few things. Oops, this is the right way. Really nice pyjamas. I don't know if this is the right way. I hope you think it is. Yeah. What did you get? I got some really nice pyjamas. Yeah. Face masks. Oh, she wanted a bodysuit, but she yeah. didn't know where to get it from. So we were like, Primark in there is huge, and it's so big. Oh, there's a train. Better go. But it's been like this ever since we kissed. I don't know what to do. We went to Shake Shack and it was really nice. Oh, look, there's more. Oh, um, and I got mum a little candle, which is really nice to show you when I get home. But yeah, oh, Beck is tired. I'm alright though because I spent 20 quid on some lipsticks that you probably won't ever wear. Yeah, it's alright though. You do use it. It doesn't even fit into context. Don't use my stuff. We are now currently at Leicester Square and we are going to Tottenham Court Road because we're going to Oxford. I'm back home now. Um, I stayed at Becca for a bit and then it's now like quarter to ten. So we're going to sit down and watch some Netflix and Netflix and X Factor and then I'm going to go to bed. So I will see you bright and early tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is now Monday, the 22nd of October. Um, it is currently 10 o'clock, literally bang on, and I'm just about to start a full study day. Um, so, let me bring you here and talk to you. Obviously, on my timetable yesterday, it said I had to do quite a lot. However, I didn't, um, mainly because I was out. And that's always what I said. I always said, you know what, I'm not going to put my studying, especially this half term, like my first half term break, completely above anything else so went out with Becca but today is a full study day I meant to be doing biology maths and PE um I have got a math tutor so I don't know if I'll be doing PE but I'm definitely want to get lots of biology done because I really slack in sciences I'm not confident at all and I, that's something that I want to regain I'm still on sales and I'm just like drawing it out it's really hard and really time consuming um, and I'm just looking to get the love and relationships AQA book. I've just put some soup in for me because I find that it's much better for me um, to have something reasonably healthy when I'm studying. I haven't drunk enough Fiji water. I don't have to say Fiji. Um, I'm using these pens and I'm literally in love. I'm literally in love with them. This was my last page that I finished, which I'm really happy with. Two. So yeah, Nada's. Obviously walking across my work. Never. I have just finished um, doing this and I'm looking at the required practical and obviously to regain my memory I am watching this matey do it. And then just writing a bit about that. Um, I can make my notes off. And yes, I'm just writing a bit about that. Writing how I've done it. 
and then this so I've got more of an understanding. So I am just using my Caboodle book that we get given um, to revise within the holidays and all the time. And I've just done a cover sheet for the first topic, which is obviously all about like typical um, easy kind of stuff. Um, even though I find this really quite difficult, this is quite easy. It's basically all just a formulae. And I've also done this cover sheet for all the formulae that I know. So this is all nice and laid out. So then I'm also, then I'm going to do some exam questions. I'm not going to do these exam questions because I don't need to know them. I might do like that one. Um, and then... And then I'm going to go on, but at the minute I'm just going to go up, get some trackies on because I've now got my math tutor. Two till three I've got Zara, so um, I've got to go get ready for her. So I've just gotten back from my math tutor. And then now I'm going to do some math revision. Yay, I love revising. I need to think of my outfit that I'm going to wear tomorrow and do a few bits and bobs, do a bit of housework and clean up and everything so yeah good morning everybody so today is when tuesday um and today i'm off to thought park with the girls there's me becca amber and luan don't know if i forgot the one um but i am going to be doing a separate vlog i'm not including this like whole day in a weekly vlog mainly because i like really enjoy vlogging and i think this one will be quite a long day if it's not i'm going to include it in this little part but i am going to do a snip like little look at the vlog that i've doing a fright night thought park vlog i'm my mum's here she's not coming with us but she's taking us yeah i got becca and we're meeting Luan and amber there so i thought i would do a separate vlog i am doing a weekly vlog but if it's not long enough then i'll put it in the weekly vlog if it is long enough i'll do a separate vlog you get me it's confusing but yes yeah, so we are off to um Fort Park. It is currently 12. Planning got in there for around 1 and yeah, I'm very excited. From like South Wales and I'm like <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. We've got <laughs> Brit Chelsea and Becca Williams and Amber Avatar. Why did you say their last name? You know, you have to say it, man. I'm the one with the one bag. Hold yeah. So we're taking over Brooke's channel today. Yeah! Right, cool. Taking over your channel. Come right, where are we going? Where are we going right. today? Right, where are we going? Where are we going? I look like you a spider, that, but it's okay. Don't drop it, because I've round your feet. Okay. So I look like a spider, but it's all right. Let me do it, let me do it, let me do it. No, Did I you just go on floor? No, we went on floor. No, no, not floor, rush. Is that the only thing you've been on? Yeah. You've only been here like half an hour. Oh, I was just half scared. Listen, oh, I'm, I met the love of I'm giving, love the queue. I'm giving a spider look today, so don't, don't, don't you worry. It's, it's all right. I can't see Spiders right now. the game. Ah! What a. <laughs> what does that mean? So we have arrived at Thought Park. Why is my camera like this? They messed the camera up. No, they haven't. So we're at Thought Park. We're waiting for the girls in the toilets, and then we're going to go ahead and head over to stuff. I can't. Got it, please. If you're a I can't really. Amber looks done already. When I go on the floor ride, it makes me feel like I'm gonna die. Is this just me or something? Alex, tell us. Just come off Vulcan Peak. We got lost. I'll just get put by myself, yeah? <laughs> like we just, we must we have got just lost. Do you know what I was like to the girls? Like, it's, it's like you're coming out of your mum's vagina again. Oh my god, I was literally my heart. Go on it if you're coming, it's worth the way. We've come out of all the mazes, we've done, what have we done? Vol volcano, is it Volcano? Volnex or something. And no, we've just done Detonator. And now we're gonna go, we've got fast passes because the queues are ridiculous, so yeah. Um, <laughs> and we've um, separated from the others because they wanted to do a few rides, but we are, did they? Yeah, they were like, oh, let me see. We are currently yeah, in the um, Walking Dead maze, which we've already done, but we're gonna do it with the other girl. We've been reunited. Okay. So we are done now. We've just come off the maze, and the that guys. Was the best one. Listen, yeah, yeah, that guy with the chainsaw. That was it. That done like, them. That done them. But yeah, yeah we. I wasn't was scared of any other one, but all like the chainsaw. No, but he came did out it. With the chainsaw. And then he did it again. And he, he, yeah. And then when he started bad. running at us, I was like, no, that's it. That's it. Yeah. No, that one was a scary bit. That and I don't scary. scream, which is worse. Yeah. Literally. So it is 
is now a Wednesday. This week is going so slow and I'm in love with it. I don't know why I look so red. Um, today I am also doing a kind of this video and a separate video at the same time. Obviously this is a weekly vlog so I talk much more in this. Um, but I am doing a study with me separately. So um, I'm just going to be videoing myself studying. And I might do a video on how to I do really neat and notes and effective notes as well. So um, if you're up for that go and check that out but this will still be a day also i don't think i filmed enough for thought park yesterday so i think you would have already seen it in this bit of the vlog i'm just about to pop out to windsor i thought what is that <laughs> this is your halloween this is your halloween thing it's arrived oh my god oh my god you look like a trojan that was the same with the <laughs> but like that you look like a trojan person <laughs> funny uh, anyway, I'm going out to Windsor to go and get some books from Waterstones to help me with poetry and English and stuff. Gonna go and have a little look, so I'm not gonna take my camera because. So I went out and bought some of the books. I've also got one downstairs, um, the Blood Brothers Study Guide, and this is the Love and Relationships Anthology, the workbook. So in here, if you're interested, they've got all of them, and they just ask you questions. And then this is the actual guide. Um, and actually just gives you analysation so if you're going to pick these up i pick them up from Waterstones I'm really tired all of a sudden I'm really hungry and I just need a nap um, I'm really tired I don't know what's wrong with me um, so I'm going to go and eat some food and then I think I'm going to have a nap currently doing this looks really nice I'm really happy with it and I'm liking this currently just going to start editing the new video that I've been doing so it's just air dropping at the minute. Morning everyone, look at that. Me waking up without brushing my hair. Um starting the vlog looking like a mess. <sighs> what difference does that make? My camera is breaking. I fear the screen the screen breaking. However, good morning. It is Thursday the twenty fifth of October. It is study day. Um today I want to get a lot done. I want to do maths history and science all my most hated subjects however i'm gonna try and do some math i don't know exactly how i'm gonna revise i'm a bit clueless but i'm gonna make some breakfast and then i'm gonna revise because i haven't i've only got today and tomorrow to do I've spoken in about a year um so i'm just doing some of my blood brother's work um I'm currently doing my essay and I've done like, loads and loads of notes. I've been watching like, like and complete, I've got so much stuff like to get me some really good essay. Um, so it's going quite well. I'm going to do this and once I finish that, I'm going to do some history. So that is the plan. I was just looking at history and then I just somehow got onto Disney Paris. And two um, mind maps, just little natural short ones. These dogs are so annoying. But yeah, these are my ones. So I have done Sonnet 29 and annotated it. However, now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to skip that one, skip that one. And go on to The Farmer's Bride. So I've already done this so I know I can go through it quick and this one is actually my favourite um, so I think this one's the one and I've got the whole analysis here so I've just taken five minutes to show you this really really new cool app that I have discovered online this is not an ad this is not a sponsored post I just thought this will help you if you're studying like me and you struggle to put down your phone. So this is the app here, it is called FlipD. And when you go on it says hello Brooke, it gives you your minutes, your total sessions and your day streak. I haven't had this for long so that's why it's only a three day streak. It is basically an app that can help you put down your phone. That's what it's for, it's basically for time off. I'm going to show you an example. If I want to do an hour of studying, that's that. I have also 
got a study group um, kind of thing here and basically you compete each other and um, you in the end of the specific time someone wins and they get I think chocolate I think it is or something like that I'm not 100% sure however this is my code here I'll put it on the screen I will also link it down below in the description box if you are interested um, I'll also link down the app just so if you want to get involved um, you can do it it doesn't help me in any way shape or form it, it, I just thought it'd be a nice idea taking a break and I'm doing some of the Disney vlog I'm currently at 24 minutes I think this one will probably be my longest because I still have two days to put in um well one of them's travel day so this will probably be the longest if you haven't watched my disney vlogs please go and watch them because like i literally spend hours on end doing it obviously for myself but for you guys so go and watch them they are really really cute i'll just show you a sneak clip if you haven't Yeah, if you haven't gone to see them go and have a little look i will link them up here or i will link them down in this description box because they really are just magical full of so many memories and i just have had the most magical amazing time editing them so i'm just ah, i love them i've been editing my Disney disney vlogs and i've just got to get really like emotional because it's like i'm gonna show you oh it was all like the cheeky sneak peek. It was all like the all the happily ever after, and I was just getting a bit like, oh. But I've had a really good idea as well, and um, whether it's out or not, I think I'm gonna do like a whole entire round up and do like not like a trailer because obviously they're already they're already out. But I think I'm going to do like a whole entire smash up of all of the Disney videos. Basically me and mum are doing some Halloween makeup because we want a picture. So I'm just going to come up and do that. Can you guess who I am? Yeah, because they're like, they're crazy ones anyway, do you know what I mean? You look nice in this camera. Go on, now. let me try to some. I look like a freaking drag queen without the mask. I look dead. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna take my makeup off. Then I think me and Mum are gonna go to bed. Maybe have a little tea, a little TV session. I'm going to finish off editing the last Disney vlog. Oh, I can't believe I'm finally finishing them. It's taken me so long, but I'm so happy with all of them. However, this is going to go ahead and conclude today's little vlog tomorrow i have not got many plans my morning everyone and welcome back i feel like welcome back but you just it's the same vlog so what am i talking about oh i hate my up but i hate it down at the minute because i need it so badly colored i don't know if you can tell it looks quite light on my face but i've had a spray tan um, no judging my outfit choice of the day. Hey guys, I haven't picked up the camera all day long. Um, I wash my hair and I feel so so much so much cleaner. Um, wash my tan off, which feels really nice. And I'm currently just packing a few things up. Um, trying to, I'm getting a bit stressed because I'm like, oh, I don't know what to bring. Don't know what I'm taking it in. Um, but yeah, that is what I'm currently doing. If you were wondering excuse my face but this weekend i have been put in basically if you don't really know me personally and you haven't known me for a long time i used to do racing and it wasn't like you when people say oh yes go kart in i don't think you can take me seriously with this but when i used to do go kart in um it was go kart but i do i used to do it really like high up and i used to, so we i've been put into a race and it's not anything professional and it's just a little small thing and it's called get the girls on track and because obviously i'm quite like come on we need more girls into sports i thought it'd be good to do my mum put me in for it and it's over in silverstone so it's quite a big event me and my dad are going it was meant to be me and my mum but my dad offered to take me so we're going there tomorrow we're staying in the travel order of the premier Inn, i think so i'm packing for that um 
I've got like my gloves and things when I used to race and obviously I've got like my helmets up here Um, I'll show you my helmets now This is one of my helmets and you can just see how much effort went into this This is my second one so a little bit older but I still love this design I love the back of it so yeah, so these are my two helmets. I think I'm going to take that one for the weekend, mainly because that's an older one and I think that one fits me better. I'm just going to make sure that I'm trying them on. But yeah, so I've been put into the race. It's just like a little typical, like, kind of a go-kart. It is kind of like more of a go-kart race. I ha I'm not obviously taking my own kart. And um, it's the top, like, ten people. Like, some, they choose a few people and they get to get interviewed and a few of them get to go and race in Le Mans. So I'm not putting out that I'm going to win at all I probably won't even come in top 10 um however I was like one of the only girls that used to race when I used to race so it's quite a nice thing to do and I'm quite excited for it and yeah so I'm just packing for it my dad's coming to get me in about an hour I'm currently watching girl on the train um Nalo's giving me company I was like stressing out a bit because I didn't know what to wear but I'm just finishing off my packing now I'm all packed I've got a few bits it's not too bad it's all fit I'm taking too much stuff I'm totally aware that I have not vlogged all day but I haven't had anything to vlog so um, I got picked up it's currently quarter to nine which I'm quite tired um but I'm going to edit some of this vlog so I'm not having to do it all this weekend um and yeah just do some bits and bobs brought my English book with me so I can do some English I'll see you tomorrow unless anything else happens tonight. Bye. I'm quite tired this morning. I went to bed quite late, so I went to bed too to be precise. So I was watching a really cute movie. Everyone, I have got some really, really, really exciting news. Um, probably the most exciting that's happened on this channel. And yes, so I am a newly rep for a stationery company called Kokori. Kokori, I still can't say the name. Um, if you use a my discount code, you will be able to get 10% off. Obviously, I get something in return of this and stuff like that. So I'm really, really excited. It is a really lovely website, and I'm gonna show you some more of it. But my um discount code is Brook M10 to receive 10% off your goodies um, and everything. It is kind of like a Japanese kind of company themed. However, the stuff there is so cute. And if you like stationery like me, you will love this kind of stuff. It so this is the website. It is Kokoria. I can never say it right. And I'm just going to go from the beginning. So there are some really cute stickers, which are like £2.90, but obviously... Um, and they have got loads of wasabi tape so this one's probably my favourite it's like a marble type this is all fully legit as well obviously it's really lovely wasabi tape to decorate your books with and they've got loads, they've got them they've also got some marker sets which look really nice I think they're calligraphy kind of type then they've got some more gel, um, gel pens but they're actually cat kind um, loads of different pens they've got these little cute things at the end some um, holographic pens they've got these pencil cases which i love i'm definitely going to be getting some of this they've got more pencil cases down there this isn't so much of an ad i'm not getting paid to say this however i am working with them and promoting them and um, so yeah I, i'm just gonna i'm gonna keep on promoting them so if you get sick of hearing me say it i'm very sorry but i'm getting um things to promote them every week in my vlogs and things like that so I hope you understand that I've just been chilling for the majority of the day, just getting some like chill time. Um, but I have actually like done a bit of work. I've done some of the typical love and relationships. I've been going through the poetry books, making some notes whilst watching some vlogs, and doing a bit. Oh, yeah. Everybody, so it is now Sunday, and um, we slept here at the Premier Inn yesterday. Um, it was a lovely sleep, highly recommend. Um, we didn't get it till late, so we didn't really do anything, and then it's about focus. And um, now today it is race day. Um, I'm not feeling nervous, but I'm feeling a little bit like, uh, I don't know, 
racing them with all different girls that I don't know. It's a bit like, ooh. And I'm a bit unsure of my outfit. And I'm just like, ah. I'm currently wearing this like, authentic jumper. But it's really cold outside, so I've tried to like layer up. Um, but yeah, I don't know how much I'm allowed to film. I don't know what I'm going to film today, if anything. So I'm at Girl on the Track now. We're all the way at Silverstone. Um, it's all here. That's the track over there. I've already signed in, but I've just come back down to get my camera. I'm going to try and give it to Dad to see if he can get any footage because it's not just racing today. It's like learning lots of new things and stuff like that. But I've already seen a few people I know, so it's quite exciting. Drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights look at fire. And I know this is my time now. So we've done the event over there in this big building here. And this is actually the track. Oh yeah. So this is a track. I'll give you more of an insight of um, how the day went and when I'm more home and I can actually talk. So it is currently 2.07, we finished about 1, however I got into top 10, so I had one of the quickest times, I think I was like second quickest or something like that, I'm not 100% sure, um, so we basically had to go in for an interview, and I'll give you more details later, but we had to go in for an interview, and pictures, and podiums, and everything, met people up in high management, so it was really good night. I'm filming this on my phone because my camera's done and I didn't bring my charger with me, typical. So I took part in a girls on track challenge and it was basically, we went to Silverstone, got in two different kind of groups of 10 of us, it was actually 11 in our group, um, and what we done was we done a kind of, we've learned about different cars, we learned about science behind a car and things like that, so it was really, really good. It kind of like made me feel like I miss Carton. Like I really, really miss Carton. Like I do. Um yeah, so we done that and then we done a carton like salon which you just go like round cones and it was just corporate carton, but it was really fun. Um however the top ten girls get in put into an interview and they get to go to Le Mans if they get picked. And I was one of them because I was uh, had like the second fastest time I think. And there's a few girls that actually do racing now. And I was like, I envy you so much. But anyway, um, yeah, so I got put into that. We had to do an interview. They asked us spare normal questions. Why should you represent UK? What do you do? And I said, oh, I do YouTube. Um, they said, well, why did you come today? And things like that. It just says on it, dare to be different, drive me on female talent. And it actually looks a bit like me. Um, so yeah, we've got all these like really, really cute goodies. Everyone got goodie bags, but we got these ones especially um, for winning. And yeah, so that was the event. And uh, so in the next couple of days, we get to find out. Obviously, there's only three girls that go through, so I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't go through. Coming top ten was actually better than I had actually hoped because I didn't even know what it was really about. So um, my time was like 24-3 or something like that. I can't exactly remember. Put my thingy on the dot, but yeah. But I know this vlog is already so, 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 so long. I'm currently at my dad's. I'm going back home because I've got school tomorrow. I hope you have enjoyed this very long weekly vlog. I know I've been studying. I've been doing Thought Park. I've been doing loads of different bits. So I hope it has been a real see of what a year 11 does actually do in the half term it is not all studying thank you guys so so much for watching thank you guys so so much for 300 followers as well uh, if you are new thank you and i will see you very very soon for the next video make sure that you do subscribe down below give this video a big thumbs up bye <laughs>
moment we held on, two things we cannot see, I would cross the